Today, I'm going to show you how to build a system in your HubSpot account for holding customers accountable to the work that they need to do to be successful in onboarding. Um, and we're going to do that by using task queues, which are a really nice HubSpot feature, which make it really easy for your team to stay in their workflow and work through the tasks um, they need to do to help customers make progress. So we're looking at our onboarding workflow, and here we can see the activity that our team has been taking to move customers forward and the stages of our onboarding journey that customers are at. So let's jump over to our task queue and we'll see what the end state looks like. We have this onboarding task queue and you'll see there's two tasks here that are in this queue that are ready to get started with. The reason that they're here is we're using two rules to do this. And I'll show you the workflows to set that up in just a second. But the first thing is we want to set a KPI around how often we are following up and contacting a customer during onboarding. So here, last contacted for these two deals was seven days ago. I'll show you the workflow now that says, Actually, we want to be following up with customers no more than five days um, since we last contacted them. The other rule is the second rule here, days since last activity. So this is the customer's action. Is the customer making progress in the onboarding plan that we have laid out? We're pulling in arrows plan data to do this. So the last task was completed. And if that's been more than five days, we add them to this workflow. The second step of this workflow is creating the task in the task queue. So here we're pulling in some details about the customer, about the current task that they're working on, the, who needs to do that task in order for them to make progress, and some other details about the plan that they're working on so far. And then we're adding that to this onboarding task queue. So the final thing to look at is, I'm gonna show you really quickly this workflow, which is gonna get us today's date, which allows us to do the calculation to figure out how long ago was a customer contacted and how long ago did they take action? So I'll link to the community post here, but this just calculates today's date because HubSpot does not give us that value natively to use in workflows. But if I click into one of these deals, you'll see that on the left-hand side, these are the three fields that we are using to make this workflow. One, last contacted is a HubSpot native property, which just tells us when did this deal last receive an email, a phone call, have a meeting. And then days since last active uh, is a calculator property looking at the difference between today's date, that we just showed how to calculate in a workflow and last contacted. And then days since onboarding progress, we're piping in arrows data for the date that the last task was completed. And then again, doing a calculator property for the difference between task last completed and today's date. So we now have a automated workflow which will assign tasks to our team that sort of surfaces at risk or potentially at risk customers to make sure that we're reaching out, staying in contact and helping them move through the process of onboarding. Let me know what you think. We'd love to see how you're implementing internal tasks for your team yourself.